subject. As you can see on the board, Highway Department Hong Kong. And panning here, this little white structure you see behind, two-story site office, is my office, home for two years. We're in the Shingman Country Park here. I'm just panning around, and you can see the entrance to the administration building for the tunnels, watchman's hut. In the distance you can see what is the bridge approach. Down there is the bridge, and I'm standing in the road which we built and diverted as part of the project. Not a very good day, but it's the last day I've got to take it, so that's the best I can do. I'll walk over to the bridge now, and we'll take a shot from there. It's halfway to the bridge here, in the distance, you can see the tunnel just there between two of the uh, toll collection booths. And uh, above the tunnel, as you can see, there is quite a large hill. These tunnels go through two hills. Just pan around. Here's the uh, other view of the administration building. And as I pan around back to the right, you can see the toll booths. And this is the toll approach area with various works in progress. Some crash barriers there. Unloading some crates. And that's the uh, contract limit. About where that diner pack uh, machine is. We'll just walk over there now. Okay, I'm down at the contract limit now. I'm at the far end of the bridge. You see there's some of the village houses. Fairly sparsely populated area. And this is the bridge taken from the other side. and panning round now. This is the cutting. As you can see, there used to be a hill there. We've made this cutting right the way through it. And this is the other carriageway of the bridge. As you can see, fairly hilly area. And the buildings you can see, as we pass this mound of earth, these are part of Chunwon School, just down the bottom there. And then beyond us here, these works are part of another contract. It's part of the same highway project, but uh, it's split up into various separate contracts. You see on the right here, this is one of the temporary walls which has been used to support the cutaway hillside. Highlands here, banana trees, lots of lush vegetation. And then we're back the village once more. Right, okay. This is, uh, Mike is holding the camera now. This is just to prove that I am actually here in Hong Kong. And uh, occasionally I appear on the film, just to show mother and other people. As you can see behind us here, close to view of the cutting, and in the distance you can see the tunnel. And above it the hill. I'm just going to walk over there and take a few more shots. Okay. Mike can switch off now. This is halfway through the cutting. Just a shot of the uh, administration building there. With the mountains behind all covered in mist. Hard at it. I've just climbed up uh, part of the slope here so I can get a better view of the tunnel entrance. Not the best view, but it's the only one I can get. Uh, again, you can see we're surrounded by hills. And there's a cut slope that we cut away to make this. Uh, there's an administration building or portal building. The background, the white you see, is uh, some fabric to cover some hydro seeding, which is to make the grass go. You see that we've cut into the hillside to make the tunnels. In the background, our Smuggler's Ridge, that's where the Japanese first entered Hong Kong in uh, World War II and overran the British defences, which are up there. And down below, all the machinery, standing, waiting.
And back there, once again, you can see the portal building. Now we're right up to the tunnel. This is the tunnel entrance. Within the cutting, we're putting up some nice granite blocks. Crash barrier on the side there. And uh, on the left hand side, I don't know if you can see, but there are some finishing panels. I don't know what the lighting will be like in the tunnel, but uh, we'll have a look inside and maybe we'll get some shots of that as well. You see the wall panels on the left hand side, they're being erected, and you see the back frames behind them. The actual fact the uh, lighting level in the tunnels is quite reasonable because some spotlights have been installed. You can see in front of me, you'll get a better view in a minute, the uh, what they call vitreous enamel panels, which are the tunnel finishes. Above those you can see the lights, and then beyond that, that's the tunnel. The panels themselves you can see are delivered in crates, and these in fact are made in England, somewhere near Corby, by a company called Cape Vitrotech. Here's another view of the tunnel. These lights are quite strong, so I don't know how it's going to show up. But there's the panels erected. There's some crates of panels which are going to be on the right-hand side. We look up here, you can see various lightings. And in the crown here, we have ventilation fans. They're a bit obscured by the light. Various control gear with miles and miles of wiring. Another view in the tunnel, here's some of the ventilation fans which push the air along in the flow of the traffic. Between them is the general tunnel lighting. See the V panels there, here's one of the lorries, many lorries used with working platforms. And this silver thing on the left, you see it's in fact trunking for high voltage cable. Five cables in there, they supply most of the power to the substation. And behind these crash barriers, under the concrete covers you see here, these are also cables, low voltage and control cables. There are about oh, a few hundred kilometers of cable in this tunnel. There's five kilometers of tunnel and there's about 50 cables in each tunnel so you can work it out. Okay, I've walked nearly a kilometre now from the tunnel entrance and this brings us out to the bridge which is 100 metres long, it's in a gorge and from that point the tunnel goes back under another hill which is Needle Hill and goes for another 1.5 kilometres before it comes out. You can probably hear the sound of running water. Well, that's just to show that we're underground. We've got uh, special drainage behind the tunnel lining which collects groundwater to avoid any pressure buildup on the lining. Now we'll go out to the bridge and have a look at the setting there. I'm standing now just at the, still in the tunnel, just at the entrance. You can see there's a lorry coming out, and behind you can see it's a steep sided valley with quite a large hillside. And he's just come across the bridge. Up there. Is a venture. Now I'm standing on the bridge, all quiet, and I've just panned down here. And you can see the steep sided valley that we're situated in. Unfortunately, it's not a very wide angle lens, 
Somewhere there. Little waterfall. And down below us, the valley. And now I'm at the other end of the bridge. And we're looking back up the valley now. As you can see, still a very steep sided valley. And if just around the corner there you can see some mace. That's a spillway and there's a very large dam there which was built in the 1930s. And this is a bridge, you can see it's quite a nice design. That's the other portal. And that's the slopes. Various grassworks. And it's a pity the sun's not shining because you would be able to see, in fact, what a very nice area we're located in. Anyway, that's it. That's all the tunnels now. One last look, and that's 1.5 kilometers down to the other end, which is very much the same.